What is going on gamers? Abatrex here and today we are going to be continuing the double evolution week and of course as you already know we're gonna be double evolving the Phantom King. Now on Phantom King I have the 5 of 8 life drain but that's not really by choice it's just the first 5 of 8 that I rolled and I didn't want to continue rolling talents at the time so you know it's not really a bad talent for him in the end it's just not what I would prefer. I would actually prefer to put a 5 of 8 Berserk on him and then take it up to 6 of 8 because with 6 of 8 Berserk his attack speed actually goes down to 600 um, and then of course he also has Psy Shield uh, for Lost Battlefield purposes. He's in a team with Candy Cane so when they both proc at the same time you know the energy from the enemy team is going to be depleted quite significantly um, so it's a very good team setup. Um, but the one thing that he is missing right now in that setup is a little bit more damage and also a little bit more health. So by double evolving him, I'm basically going to be uh, making sure that he becomes a little beefier and hits a little harder, which will make that team even better. Um, now, of course, we will need to get those five evolution runes. And I did buy the Phantom King pack, which is why I have one duplicate. Um, but I will have to use 40,000 shards. I know it sucks. Just this this week alone in Double Evolution Week, I think I spent like uh, I don't know, like 150,000 shards. But it's been shards that I have been saving up for this specific purpose. So it's not like I just decided to do it and blow all the shards. I was saving them up um, just for that specific reason. And also, a lot of people in the comment section were saying, "How are you double evolving all of these heroes?" Keep in mind that these are, have been two accounts that I've been doing the videos. And there is a thing called saving your fame. It actually can get you far. You know, you get a thousand fame, that doesn't mean you have to evolve one hero if you don't need it. Uh, when I first started, BG had 5,000, um, which is the Brendan BG account. And this account has uh, 20,000 when I first started. So that is how I'm able to double evolve all of those heroes. But let's go ahead and grab these evolution runes. We will need five. And of course, uh, tomorrow I will be uh, evolving one last one. And as you can tell, I do have plenty of fame for that. Um, I'm actually almost very, very close to being able to double evolve uh, a second one after tomorrow. So um, that's going to be pretty exciting. All right, let's see where we at. Where are you at, Phantom King? Let's go ahead and evolve you. Use that card that we got. And go ahead and use those 40,000 shards, which is going to hurt my soul. But we got to do it. All right, so actually beforehand, let me go ahead and take a look at the uh, at the, the stats. So he's got, oops, let me go back here. He has got 5,310 damage and just above 71,000 HP. Okay, duly noted. Let's go ahead and evolve this bad boy, double evolve him. Get those books. There we go. Make sure we got those books. I don't actually know if we will need these books because we've, uh, we've accumulated quite a bit. Um, so we'll be fine as far as with the books, uh, but let's go ahead and level up. Oh, no, wrong one. Earn skill experience and then go to the books. Um, and actually, before I do that, let me go ahead and sweep some dungeons. That way, um, he'll be good to go and get him to about 120, I believe I can get him to. All right, that was about four sweeps. That should be enough. Nope, one more. Boom! There we go. Take him up. Upgrade. And then just burn all the other dungeons. Because I don't believe it would actually take them to 120. Even if I burn all of these dungeons. I could be wrong though. Let's see. Oh. I don't have any more. So never mind. If it did, it did. It didn't. So I was actually right on that. Let me go ahead and use some purple books. Perfect. Upgrade. And again, you guys probably already know the drill. When it comes down to uh, 180, I will have to get some gold for him. Um, so let's go ahead and just try to blow all these green books because I get so many from quest board. It's ridiculous. I'll probably have them full by the weekend. Get a lot of green books. There we go. Will I have to use all of the last one? No, I don't. Okay, so 180 and then of course we need the gold. So let's go ahead and see if we can get some good gold bases. Come on. Ooh, 1 million. Yes. Mino, if Mino doesn't do the job completely, I send out Dread Drake just in case. Get that little extra bit of damage. There we go. So, pretty easy 1 million gold there. Uh, oh, and another 1 million gold. Okay. There we go. Mm. Let me see if I can get the 100%. No, I can't. Actually, 
Oh, are you gonna start using bombs and stuff? No, bro. Alright, we are actually... Let me do one more raid. One more raid. Whoa. Red walls, non-evolved heroes. This looks like an account that quit a long time ago. And it's just all of a sudden being raided. That's crazy. I haven't seen an account like this for so long. This account definitely quit when the wall update came out. Wow. It's it's actually kind of rare to see uh, red walls nowadays. Oh no, Mino wasn't able to do it, but Dread Drake plays cleanup. Alright, good enough for me. Let's go ahead and uh, get him up to 10 stars. Alright, let's take a quick look at the stats now. So the damage is uh, pretty much about 8,000, so it went up, uh, I would say around 3,000. Um, actually, a little bit less. The HP is now 121,000, so we went, went up by about 50,000 HP, which makes him pretty tanky, considering the inscription level and all that will also be taken into consideration. Um, so he's going to be really, really powerful. Um, I don't think he's going to be very good to raid with, um, but I do know that he's actually really, really good when it comes to uh, these heroes here. So let's see. Okay, we got a succubus. Uh, okay. I already have a team with him there, so let's see what he can do. Especially with Pumpkin Duke. There we go. Look how fast he's hitting. Nice. Woo! I want to see him just with Pumpkin Duke. That will be actually pretty good to see. Um, are you... Alright. Let me just go ahead and take everything else out. And I just want to see him with Pumpkin Duke. There we go. nice you see their energy once you start killing them off and once he starts getting going with pumpkin duke it's kind of hard to stop him because he's you're not going to get uh, much energy and uh it's it's very very good uh, for arena if you use them in arena and also um, for things like uh lost battlefield this one seems kind of interesting i wonder if he could maybe solo that i don't think so but let's see live and learn right I should have actually put him in the Goblet Artifact. Because Life Drain, I don't think it's going to be enough. In Goblet, I think it would have been perfect. And that Snow Scylla is going to work! Oh no, Immortep. Oh no. Yeah, he doesn't do enough damage by himself. Um, this is why Pumpkin Duke is really, really good with him. Um, kind of like a tandem. Uh, let's see what Pumpkin Duke does with him. Now, let's see. There we go. Now he's attacking faster. Once Pumpkin Duke gets going, he's just going to be a machine gun. There it is. Boom, 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 boom. Perfect. Oh, the Immortep proc. But it don't matter. He's got way too much of a head start. There we go. Um, so yeah, like I was mentioning... Oh, whoa, I saw a Motanica team. That'll be a perfect team to go up against with just the Pumpkin Duke and the Phantom King. Let's see. Is this also going to have Spirit Mage? It is. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. We got to take care of that Moltanica. Got to take care of that energy for Moltanica. Actually, I don't see Moltanica gaining any energy. Look at that. Moltanica is not gaining any energy. I saw a Thunder God proc, which is not good. But we just got to make sure that Moltanica does not proc. Oh, no. Dang, too much stun. Way too much stun. Uh, so I think with a Ghulam, we should be okay. Let's see. We'll go ahead and use 50 gems. Why not? Alright, so yeah, I'm, our main issue really there was the uh, the Thunder God. The Thunder God was really rough to go up against. Look at that. They're just non-stop. Oh, no! Well, Ghulam cleaned them up, but... Um, basically, the moral of the story with this hero here is that uh, he's not a hero that you would treat uh, like a Skull Knight or a Dread Drake, etc. Don't expect him to solo anything. He's not a strong hero by himself. But when you surround him with other heroes that will help him, he will bring a lot to your team, especially when he is going to be lowering energy. That is invaluable to a team with somebody like a Pumpkin Duke, etc. Very, very invaluable. Um, but yeah, the next video, I actually don't even know who I want to double evolve like the previous videos I already knew who I wanted to double evolve but these ones I'm not even a hundred percent 
Um, I might do Vlad. I might do Destroyer. I might even do Trentar. Um, I can't do Arctic Eye because I just don't have the dupes or the shards now. So it's really going to be between Vlad, Destroyer, or Trentar. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section whichever one I see the most. And I'll go ahead and just double evolve that one. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. And until later.